Hey y'all, so I haven't been feeling very well the last week. Um, my nephew, Lil Leek, passed me along some kind of bug and I had like a sore throat, a slight fever, and I've been feeling very fatigued, tired. My throat is feeling a lot better and I'm finally mustering up some strength to stay up long enough to do my hair. I've been trying to just comb it out. I haven't washed it in about three weeks and every day I've been just trying to lift my roots and comb it out. But this weekend I was so tired that I haven't even taken my bonnet off. So I'm about to take it off for the first time and see what it looks like. Y'all see my hair is literally matted to my head. Not only does it need to be washed, it needs to be trimmed. So I'm about to give it a thorough wash and blow it out to trim it. I have not blown out my hair. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I'm still a little congested. In at least a year, but it's grown out so much that I haven't trimmed this in January. So I definitely need to trim it. And it's so long now that I have to blow it out to trim since I'm not doing a major cut. Just trimming and reshaping. So I'm going to give it a deep clarifying wash and I'm going to blow it out and trim it. And then I'm going to have to wash it again to color it deep condition all that stuff and style it and i'm going to show you guys how i do everything so stay tuned washing conditioning and detangling my hair and already i'm thinking this is probably a bad idea because my tank already feels like it's on e but i'm going to push through this is how much hair i lost after not washing my hair for three weeks that's how much i lost detangling 
not bad. Now I'm about to separate my hair into sections so I can blow dry it. I'm using my old Rusk Speed Freak blow dryer. This blow dryer is so old, it looks beat down. I can probably use a new one, but this one still works. And I'm going to be using this IC Fantasia hair polish of coconut oil as a heat protectant. I don't have a lot left, but it should be enough to finish my hair. If not, I also have a spray. And I'm going to be using this Felicia Leatherwood brush with the best brush to blow dry my hair. I've never used it. I've had it for a couple of years. I totally forgot I had it. I got it in a gift bag at an event. And um, it seems sturdy enough. So I hope that's strong enough. So I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair into sections and blow it out. With, blow it out, which I am not looking forward to because... Although my hair is short, I have a lot of hair. separated my hair into pretty small sections to make it easier to blow it out and I'm going to start with this little section in the back so for each section I'm going to spray my hair with a little water first because it'll be easier to glide through while blow drying and then I'm going to add a drop of that hair polisher and get my hair good from roots to ends to make sure that I protect my hair from the heat and make sure that my curl pattern comes back. I don't put heat in my hair often, so I'm not thrilled to be blow drying my hair, but... That should do the trick. And I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry that section. I'm gonna start with medium heat. This brush is working very well to blow dry my hair. It's actually coming out pretty straight and it's gliding through very easily. Impressive. <laughs> That's straight enough. I'm going to go ahead and do the next section then I'll blow both sections together. I really can't believe 
how much hair I have on my head, y'all. But you can see already how my hair needs to be trimmed. You see, my taper cut is grown out pretty good and my split ends are not too bad but you can see where like they need to be dusted to even out the shape but it's crazy how much hair i have on my head can't believe it <laughs> and i have no intentions of cutting my hair at the moment usually i want to cut it all off but like i'm excited to let it grow out I just want to make sure that I keep a taper cut. And this brush is doing such a wonderful job. I'm glad it didn't break yet. You can see it's flexible. And it's doing a really good job of like snapping back against my hair instead of snapping off. And it's getting through my ends really good. Usually when I'm blowing out my hair, like you, you hear it, you can hear it snapping back. Usually when I'm blowing out my hair, it's really hard to get through the ends. And it's still a little difficult today, but this brush, this brush is the bomb. It's perfect for blowing out my hair. I'd highly recommend it. I hope it's still available because like I said, I've had it for a couple of years and I've never used it. But if I find it, I'm going to link it for y'all because this brush is the truth. And it's taken a while for my hair to dry because I actually turned it on low. This blow dryer gets extremely hot and I don't want any heat damage. So I have it on low. So I have to go through my hair a little more in order to get it completely dry being that this brush is working so well i think next time i wash and blow out my hair i might even try to do a silk press myself i have an old flat iron that's really good or i might just get a new one but this is convincing me that i might be able to heat press my own hair i'm not really interested in that right now but look y'all blowing out my hair it's long enough for a little puff my hair has not been long enough to put in a puff since I've gone natural. I probably can't put it all in a puff. It's too short to put it all in a puff, but that back section fits in a puff. All right, let's do the next section. blowing out my hair I have two more sections to go and man has this been an ordeal I'm ready to just <laughs> leave it like this and go to sleep I don't even want to do anything else to it because I am tired I knew I had a lot of hair but my goodness I don't know about letting it grow out super long because uh then I don't know what I'm gonna do with it how I'm gonna manage it I'm finding that this length is a bit much to tame for me. That's why I usually just chop my hair off because it's a lot. A lot of work. section to go y'all one more
I'm just going to go through my hair with the blow dryer and the wide tooth comb to get out any kinks. <music> Definitely need a trim. And I ain't lose too much hair blow drying. That's how much hair is in the brush. Not much at all. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to that comb. So now I'm gonna separate my hands to sections again and I'm going to just reshape my taper cut and get rid of some of these for all of these dead ends. So I'm ready to trim my hair, y'all, and I'm gonna do it in sections. Starting with the back and in order to help me out, I got the mirror from my bedroom so that I can see the back of my hair from <laughs> a bathroom mirror. So I don't need two mirrors for both parts, but when I'm trying to get a precise cut in the middle where it's hard for me to see from the front, then I use the other mirror to just help me out. So I comb through with a wide tooth comb to kind of detangle and I don't usually comb my hair with a small tooth comb, but in order to get the tangles out of the very ends or where they're split, I'm gonna go through with the fine tooth comb because it makes it easier for me to cut. So I'm gonna start with a little section. I'm gonna part that and I'm gonna clip the rest back and see how the ends are still really tangled. That's where a lot of those splits are. And I can just trim those off until it's smooth. And I'm using barber scissors. It's important to use barber scissors to cut your hair and not scissors that you use to cut clothing or food or anything else because then they'll be dull. You need very sharp barber scissors to do this. And I'm trying to do it in a way so that I can show you guys when I'm cutting. Let me zoom up some so you can see. So. I'm gonna start by just trimming That's how much I took off. And I'm gonna comb it out. And remember, I have a tapered cut, so I'm not cutting my hair straight. I'm cutting it on an angle, on purpose, because I'm keeping the shape of my tapered cut. And my hair doesn't have to be very precise. I don't wear my hair straight. I try to get it precise enough. But look, as you can see already, I'm not even finished trimming. But look how easy it is to get that comb through my ends after getting rid of some of those split ends and even in my hair out some. So I just combed it through again. And I'm just holding my hair tight. And I'm just going to cut through those ends now I'm going to split the section in two and just focus on the top part
and that little section is trimmed. So now I'm going to release the rest of my hair and part another little section. Let me show y'all. Part in another little section. And I'm going to clamp the rest back. And now I'm going to comb out that section. And I'm going to hold that section with the section I already trimmed to line them up. And when you put them together, ooh, catching them bee bees in the kitchen. You put them together, and that's how you get an even trim all the way around. So I'm going to get that top section. And this takes a lot of work and my hands always cramping so it takes me a while to get this done but I get it done and I just take my time and keep going through to make sure everything is even and that section is good so far and I'm just gonna keep on doing the same thing until I get all the way around. And that's the section I trimmed so far, y'all. Looking good, looking good. So I'm just gonna finish off that section and then I'll part the next section. Jefferson, the home with a clown. <laughs> I'm telling my age, y'all, but what I'm going to do is part that section and clamp it back so that I can start with this little section here on the front. And the front is easier for me to trim because I can see everything easily. So all I have to do is take each little section, clamp some back. And trim it. I'm just going to take that section and trim it from the bottom up. And yes, I'm trimming generously because them ends are a little shot, y'all. You see how much more easily the comb goes through? And it's important to comb through when your hair is not bone straight because then you'll see that after you comb through on the sections that is not quite even, and then you'll have to cut again. And I have to get this bottom section. Yeah, I'm gonna part it again and clamp. The rest back 
And I'll line those two sections up. And go ahead and cut them evenly. And you'll notice that I'm taking a little more off the sides and that's because my hair has grown out a lot. My hair has grown out a lot, but it's also kind of growing out of the taper a bit on the sides and I don't want the sides as long. So I'm taking a little more off the sides, but I'm still leaving the top much longer so that my hair can grow back out and my original tapered cut like it was. And I'm gonna release that last little section and comb through with a wide tooth comb. And now I'm gonna split this section for a minute and hold the front forward because now I have to cut this section with the back to even out the taper. Ooh, child, this 4C here ain't no joke. How my hair be super curly when I style it, but when I blow dry it and you see it in this afro, you can clearly see my 4C texture. I know I got some 4A and B mixed in there, but this is predominantly 4C. And it is thick and it ain't no joke. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to continue to cut. And you'll see how I tapered this section with the back now. I'm just going to trim that a little bit more to dust off any split ends that might be hanging. And now I'm going to release this section. And I'm going to cut the top part with the front to kind of even out those sections now. Let me just go in here. Now what I'm going to do to make sure this is even, I'm going to part it that way and just clamp it back a little bit. And now I'm going to taper it from this side. Let's see. So the shape is almost perfect. You just see that section right there that needs to be cut. Actually, I'm just gonna go trim along the whole edge to get any strays and just comb them out. So I'm doing the middle of this section and I'm using a handheld mirror to kind of comb it out and to do the initial trim. And I'm just gonna take my scissors and this whole little chunk needs to be cut out. I'm gonna take my comb. And you can see after cutting out that initial section, it's starting to line up with the next section. Then I'll take my fingers to hold it together and line it up. That mostly did the trick. That section is good. And now I can move on to the next section and release this so you guys can see. So I finished the sides, y'all. Like I said, I was taking it down shorter. This side looks longer because I came up a little bit higher with my parts. But I said I was taking the sides down shorter and leaving the top longer. So 
that's the tapered cut for the sides. And I'm about to take the top out. And I'm going to have to split that in sections. And I'm just trimming the top to take the ends off. But I'm going to keep the length on it. So then it'll be like a true bomb tapered cut. <laughs>
finished cutting and I went shorter than planned because as you guys probably saw when I was cutting, there was a very thin short spot in here that I had to blend in with the rest. Also, the front was very thin and straggly and there was some thin spots in the middle. So I don't hold on to damage. I'd rather just go shorter than to hold on to damaged hair. And as quick as I cut my hair, it will grow back. So it'll be back to the length I just cut it from by four or sooner and I like to have it shorter in the summer anyway but it's still a lot of hair on my head and now I'm about to go wash it again and put my rinse in because those grays are popping all around my edges so I rinsed my hair, y'all. I used Jazzing Blue is Black. Make sure you watch my color rinse tutorial on natural hair to see how I rinse my hair. And I put a conditioner in and I actually went to sleep with it in because it was like four o'clock in the morning and I was tired. And I've been doing some things around the house. So I just took a shower and washed the conditioner out of my hair. And now I'm about to style it in a quick wash and go so I can go ahead and enjoy my day and I'm going to use this for you by Tia leave-in curl cream to moisturize my hair and I'm gonna hold my curls and make them pop with this cream in nature coconut milk curl quenching foaming mousse and my trusty eco style olive oil gel and my Denman three roll comb which is my favorite tool to style my hair in a wash and go at any length especially when it's short like this and the top looks shorter than it is because I have shrinkage my hair is looking a little dry it always looks like this when I first do a cut it's like it goes into shock or something but my curls did come back so no heat damage but watch how y'all see them pop when I do this wash and go where I cut it short I'm going to go through it with my rat tooth combs the final coils before switching to the three row comb
All right, y'all. So I finished styling my hair. The shape is everything, y'all. I don't know. Every time I cut my hair off, I just get this battery in my back and you can't tell me that I ain't the ish <laughs> but yeah it is shorter than i plan to go but i don't mind going shorter it's always health over length for me and this is the perfect limbs to kick off summer memorial day weekend like perfect easy maintenance and it will grow right back by the fall so i'm not even sweating that but i absolutely love the way my hair turned out i'm about to go pull myself together so i can go outside and enjoy this beautiful weather let me know if you guys have any questions i will link all products let me do one more spin for y'all. Slow this time so that you can really see the shape. Let me let y'all get a close-up of them coils. I told y'all, no heat damage. Them coils are popping galore. And I am so happy the way my hair turned out. I even feel like my skin is glowing now. I'm about to go do my skincare routine because I ain't get to that yet. But yes, I will see y'all next time.